classical method of solving RLC circuits. All the questions which we have solved so far by Laplace transform technique have been done because classical method used to pose a lot of problem. It was difficult for us to solve a higher order differential equation given the initial conditions and get the response. In classical method, we will be focusing just on the topic where classical method is best suited to find out the initial conditions, for example, I0, di by dt at t is equal to 0, d2i by dt2 at t is equal to 0. So let's take an example and with the help of this, we are going to illustrate how classical method is useful in such problems. In question 1, we see there is a circuit which is given RLNC, series RLC circuit. There is a DC excitation of 10 volt. The values of resistance, inductance, capacitance in microfarad and the initial condition of capacitor which is unenergized, so 0. Now we are required to determine I0 plus di by dt at t is equal to 0 plus and d2i by dt2 at t is equal to 0 plus. The term 1 over c integral i t dt at t is equal to 0 is 0. And also I0 is 0. Putting t is equal to 0, then minus r into I0, which will be later on be made as 0, minus L di by dt at t is equal to 0, minus 0 is equal to 0. Substituting the value of L, which is equal to 1 Henry, we obtain di by dt at t is equal to 0, 10 ampere per second. Differentiating the equation once, this is a dc on differentiation it gives 0 minus r di by dt minus l d2 i by dt2 minus it is equal to 0. In this equation 2 also we will substitute t is equal to 0. So that gives you and substituting the values of r and c minus 10 into di by dt at t is equal to 0 minus l which is 1 into d2i by dt2 at t is equal to 0 minus i0 is equal to 0. We know I0 is 0. We have found di by dt at t is equal to 0 as 10 ampere per second. Substituting the values, we obtain d2i by dt2 at t is equal to 0 as, this we take on the right hand side, minus of 100 ampere second square. Next we take up an example to determine transient response by classical method. This again is a question in which the switch K at t is equal to 0 is switched on and you have resistance, inductance and capacitance value indicated in the circuit. There is a unit step excitation that is a DC excitation of 1 volt. Assuming 0 initial conditions for inductor and capacitor, we have to determine the value of IT. Let us write down a KVL equation as in the previous questions by KVL 1 minus 3 IT minus 1 into DI by DT minus 1 over half integral IT DT is equal to 0 which gives you DI by DT 
plus 3 i t plus 2 integral i t d t is equal to 1. Differentiating again. Now, like in the previous question, since the initial condition was 0, so this term at t is equal to 0 becomes 0. So, at t is equal to 0, di by dt plus 3 i0 plus 0 is equal to 1. And we know initial value of current is 0 because the inductance current is 0. Therefore, di by dt at t is equal to 0 is 1 ampere per second. Substituting the value of 3 in 2 after putting t is equal to 0, d2i by dt2 at t is equal to 0 plus 3 into 1 this value plus 2 i t at t is equal to 0 is 0, 2 into 0 is equal to 0 which gives you d2 i by dt2 is equal to minus 3 ampere per second square. Now let us solve this equation. d2 plus 3d plus 2 is equal to 0 gives you d plus 1 into d plus 2 as being equal to 0. So d is equal to minus 1 and d is equal to minus 2. General equation of it will be some constant k1 into e raised to the power minus t plus another constant k2 into e raised to the power minus 2t. We have substituted the value of minus 1 and minus 2 here. So now, we differentiate it once. So that gives you minus k1 e raised to the power minus t minus 2k2 e raised to the power minus 2t. Now let us substitute the value. e raised to the power minus t that is e raised to the power 0 that is 1 minus 2 k2 again e raised to the power 0 is, that is 1. So this gives you equation number 5. d2i by dt2 at t is equal to 0 has been found to be minus 3 ampere per second square. This implies minus 3 is equal to but for that we have to first find out d2i by dt2 as well. d2i by dt2 is equal to k1 e raised to power minus t plus 4k2 e raised to power minus 2t. So in this equation we substitute t is equal to 0 that gives you k1 into e raised to power 0 is 1 plus 4k2 again e raised to power 0 is 1. This gives you 6 equation. Solving these two, just add both of them. k1 and minus k1 gets cancelled. Minus 2 is equal to 2k2. Therefore, k2 is equal to minus 1. Once you know the value of k2, k1 is equal to minus 1 minus 2k2 from equation 5. This gives you minus 1 plus of 2 that is 1. Substituting the values of k1 and k2 in the general equation we obtain it is equal to 1 into e raised to the minus t minus 1 into e raised to the minus 2t. So plotting it approximately we can find at t is equal to 0 the value of i0 becomes 1 minus 1 that is 0 and at t is equal to infinity also 
the point e raised power minus infinity is 1, e raised power minus infinity is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so again 0. In between, there is a maxima. So at 0 it starts, it ends at 0. And if you wish to find out where the maxima will lie, you can do it on your own. Just differentiate the value of it, di by dt. It will give you minus e raised power, we have already found out earlier, minus plus of 2 e raised power minus 2 t. And picking out e raised power minus t common, minus 1 plus 2 e raised power minus 2 is equal to 0. This term cannot be 0. So this has to be 0. This gives you 2 e raised power minus t as being equal to 1 or e raised power minus t as being equal to half and which on taking log inverse minus t ln e ln e is 1 this is ln of 0.5 half. which gives you minus t is equal to minus 0.693, you can see it uh, in the calculator and t is equal to 0.693. So, your value of t naught at which the maxima occurs is 0.693. And this is the plot of i t. If you again want to find out what is the value of i naught, just put this time in this expression of i t and you will obtain what maxima you are going to have. Max. I think this much is sufficient for the classical method and later on some more questions will be added up in subsequent videos when the previous year papers will be taken up but right now since the internal exams are on so I think this much is sufficient for today. Thank you.